Hello everyone, welcome back to another stream. I hope you're all doing well. I'm having a wonderful, beautiful day today. Please let me know if there's any issues with the audio or anything that you would like me to adjust. Additionally, for some reason, after I updated Streamlabs today, I went to go and like reopen it, set everything up for the stream. And it, for the second time, like darkened my entire webcam. Like everything looked super off. So I had to fix it last minute. So if it's like slightly different, I am very sorry. But welcome in friends. This is only day two for me for playing the 1.6 update. I played it once on stream and I wanted to keep it primarily a stream farm. So that is why it is technically day two for me. But I hope you're all doing good. And per the pinned message, I do have a 30% off merch sale on all products on my merch site. If you'd like to uh, check that out, use command exclamation point shop to get the link. I try to put the link in there, but for some reason, YouTube hasn't been like letting me do that. It's been really weird. Oh yeah, thank you for getting the link. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to the other screen. But again, let me know if there's any issues with the volume that you'd like me to adjust. You're more than welcome to say so at any point. And as I say with Stardew Valley streams, especially because I'm streaming this PC version, whenever I click back and forth between screens, it likes to do this cute little thing where it like pauses for a second until I like go back to the Stardew monitor. So I apologize for that. Oh, and let me say hello to you all. Hello Tekla, hello Megs, hello Hannah, hello Shiver, welcome in, hello Classy, I hope you're all doing good. One last thing and then I'm not gonna talk about this just because I don't wanna be super repetitive. Um, I don't know what it is with me today, but like I feel like I look extra shiny and then whenever I was putting on my makeup earlier, it like started pilling a little bit. You can't really tell from here, but it started pilling in the same way that erasers do sometimes and that was really annoying. So, I wiped it off so you can't really see it, but I think that just means that I need to exfoliate or something. So maybe I need to do a more extensive skincare routine whenever I go to bed tonight. Not that any of you asked, but I'm telling you anyways. <laughs> Volume's good, okay, cool. If at any point you change your mind and you feel like I need to fix something, as always, you are more than welcome to speak up. How was your day? My day's been good, thank you for asking. It's been very productive, actually. I've been working on a bunch of super miscellaneous things. Um, for a while now, I've been working on slowly but surely collecting things for moving out. And the other day, I actually, well, I didn't buy it myself. It was a gift to me. But you know how literally nothing is affordable anymore? Like everything is just price gouged. Companies are greedy. You know what I mean, right? All that really lovely fun stuff. Well, I was volunteering for a couple of days at this massive garage sale event. And somebody had donated a purple couch to be sold. And I was thrilled about that because purple's my favorite color. Oops, I do not want to eat the egg. Purple is my favorite color. And I just thought this is such an insanely cheap couch compared to how expensive they are nowadays. I forgot to say how, um, how much it cost, excuse me. Um, my brain's a little fried because I've been busy today and I'm like slightly tired, excuse me. The couch was I think $60 to start with and then they price slashed it on that Saturday and it became $30, but then they only charged me 15. I technically bought it, but then I was reimbursed because the person that bought it for me as a present was not there that day. Um, so anyways, I have a purple couch now. It's sitting in the garage. That is leading into what I did today. I did a lot of work on the cleaning and organizing the garage to make more room for it. I have been working on stuff for videos, not filming per se, because I had an issue with something I wanted to film today, um, but I was working on stuff for ad revenue. I made a short, which by the way, <laughs> the short that I posted today, I spent like an hour on it because the editing was really tedious and annoying. But I think that's about it. I think y'all are all caught up. Excuse me for nonstop blabbing for like the past couple of minutes. Yes, 100%. Yeah, literally everything is expensive and it makes me want to cry. I think, yeah, I think I just got these on the Stardew Easter event. Technically, it's just the egg hunt day. But we all know that it's the Stardew version of Easter. But I think that's the main gist of what I wanted to say. The only thing is, is that I need to borrow a steamer from someone, like a hand steamer for furniture, because I don't technically know where that purple couch has been. And to be on the safe side before I even think about sitting on it in there or anything, I need to steam it, just to be sure.
Can't wait to plant your strawberries. Oh, literally, it's the way that I was doing it as soon as I looked over. Well, technically I'm watering them, but you know what I mean. I cannot wait for this update to be on Switch. I really wish Concerned Ape would take upon the idea that they did for Disney Dreamlight Valley, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, let's say, hypothetically, if you play that game, you have a file of it on Switch and you have it on PC. If you have a cloud save setup, you can save and cross play between platforms, which I think that he should do personally. I don't know why I'm just running around. I guess I don't know what I want to aim for today. Maybe we're just going to vibe and see where it goes. I feel like whenever I have my perfection run farm, I still do want to reach perfection on this one too, but I'm not going to stress as much about the details. I want to take it slow and to be able to enjoy it. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else that I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, I haven't put the hat on yet. Let me just fix that. Oh, I don't remember if it's only on certain days, but there is some kind of new thing over here. It was like an area to get books, I believe. I don't think it was a bookstore, but it was like this little character selling some books. So let's see, hold on. Are you here today? No, okay, well, this is where it normally is, where you can buy some books. Oh, yeah, and I think the green bean and the cauliflower I needed to donate. I'm not 100%, but while I'm over here, I may as well go check. They may love mods, but I want the new machines on Switch. As much as I, just purely speaking in terms of streaming, it is preferable a decent amount of the time to stream games off of PC, just because... For the most part, games tend to run a little bit better, 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 and be a little bit smoother. But in terms of just playing them and literally every other reason, I'm a Switch person at heart. Like I love playing Switch games. Like my Perfection Run farm was on my Switch. I learned my lesson from what happened and I would like to get a hard copy of both Stardew Valley and Undertale in there at some point. I guarantee you I've got at least one spare parsnip, so let's go back and see. I don't remember if I planted any potatoes, though. I heard about the new book stand, too. I don't know um, when they're sold, though, yet. Hello, welcome in. Is your name Audrey? I hope I'm saying that right. Um, if I'm not, please feel free to correct me immediately. But yeah, I've only been there once. I visited at one time on my last stream for this game. I, I couldn't tell you what day of the week it was, though. I don't remember whatsoever. Oh, wait, before I go and get the parsnip, I'm pretty sure the traveling cart is here today. I know they stop by on Sundays, so before they possibly close up, I should probably go do that. My name is Audrey, thank you. Of course, you're welcome. I think it's random. I wish they had like designated days, kind of like how the traveling cart is. Watch me be like misremembering and the traveling cart only starts to show up at a certain point. I just know Sundays is one of the days. Is it here? It is here. Okay, cool. We're good. Okay, are any of these something for the community center? Sardines are pretty easy to get. If that's part of it, I'm just going to catch that because why would I spend 500 gold when I can easily just catch one? Okay, I don't think any of these are really going to be worth it. Plus, I don't have a whole lot of gold to work with anyways. Hello. I don't have a specific set time at the moment right now, but I'm hoping to stream tomorrow as well. Prehistoric scapula. That looks like a folded napkin, but okay. <laughs> like, look at that. I don't know how well you guys can see it on your end, but it looks like a folded, creased up napkin. It's a little bit different from y'all's point of view, but basically I have Stardew Valley on my left monitor and that same monitor has the color settings changed a little bit because I used to stream Minecraft and it used to always be way too dark for me. So I had to change the color settings and then I just never changed it back. So the blue grass is really, really vibrant for me. Anybody remember 
it's okay if you don't because it's been a little bit since I streamed Stardew last. But does anybody remember if I said something about saving up for a silo? Because I feel like I was. And then I don't think I have a mayonnaise machine yet either, so I'm just going to sell this. Oh, I need to donate that to Gunther. Okay. Well, I can do that. I'm going to go donate the potato and then the parsnip. That should finish up the spring crops bundle. And then again, I'll give... Actually, never mind. I can't give that to Gunther. It's past four o'clock. <laughs> never mind. I had good intentions. I think so, but I don't remember. It's okay. Were you progressing in the mines? I think I was starting to work on the mines a little bit, but I hadn't gotten very far yet. Again, emphasis with this farm, I would love to reach perfection eventually and be really far progressed, but I'm not going to rush it whatsoever. Perfection will happen when it happens. The community center will be completed when it gets completed. Like, I want to be able to enjoy the gameplay, you know? Really want to emphasize that as much as possible. It's also why I had named the farm such a peaceful name. I named it Serenity Farm, if anybody didn't see. Seed grow. Wait, do I put that before I plant them? Guaranteed to increase growth rate by at least 10%. Mix into tilled soil. Okay. So that goes in the soil, I guess, before you plant the crops. Really quick, if one or two people could answer in chat, it's probably just me, but I swear it feels like my camera is like slightly more zoomed in than before. It's probably just me because I haven't streamed in like 10 days, but I just want to make sure. Oh, you know what I should try that I haven't tried in a while? I should go try Junimo Kart. I can't remember. Okay, that's not the right game, but it's too late. I'm already on it, so I will do my best. No promises, though. <laughs> the way that I died almost immediately. I'm trying my best. This is just like so much harder than it looks. If this exact game was on an actual physical arcade game that I could play in person, it would probably be a lot easier, but it's hard to play in Stardew Valley. Like, why are there so many of the little minions coming after me? Doesn't look zoomed in. It's probably just me then because I haven't streamed in a little bit. Oh, you guys remember how I was saying earlier that I was working on ad revenue stuff for my videos? Well, I was, and whenever I was doing that, I was combing through some of my older Animal Crossing videos, like my Let's Plays. I briefly had a Let's Play series, and then I stopped because that's when I had gotten burnt out, and I just never really recorded that island again. But to be honest, it made me feel a little nostalgic for Animal Crossing, so mayhaps, perhaps, might not stream, but maybe post some videos about it again. Maybe we'll revive that island. I don't know yet. We'll see. Just because, like, I do still like the game, I just, like, rarely ever post about it anymore. Due to, like, the fact that there's no new stuff to do, you know? I think the reason I saved such a big stack of standard rating parsnips was because I was going to use them as snacks for, like, health boosting in the mines. So I should probably put that away. Um, somebody told me that the jellies were something important. I don't know what they're for yet. Please don't spoil it for me if... Um, you already know because I don't. But I was told that they're important, so I'm not selling it. Hello, Bill. Welcome in. Watch most recent short Lexi posted about Miss School. I, I'm Wait, did you like it? <laughs> that was very tedious to edit because I was trying to, like, make sure that for every answer, the color-coded response for the result was the right one. And also because it kept, like, 
going at the wrong parts. Like it just was very tedious, but I hope that you liked it. I want to start doing stuff like that as long as the algorithm and you guys like it. Okay, I love whenever it's raining in Stardew Valley. I just feel like, so nice. Hello dear, I know you're just getting started. The gardener's going to give you a little tip. Let's try. I already know that, Granny Evelyn, but thank you so much anyways. <laughs> This is all taken care of, so I'm going to, actually, wait, I need to check on my chicken. Do I have spare hay in here, or do I need to buy some? I would love to just have some put into a silo, but I don't have one yet. Eat the chickens, check on them, and then probably just make my way to Gunther's, because I have to donate that scapula. I don't like how similar that is to the word spatula. I thought it was a fun concept. I I thought it was very silly. I've seen people do that idea before. Like I took inspiration from other people's versions. Don't worry, I did not copy them directly because that's not nice. Let's not promote that kind of behavior. But I like the idea, so like I made my own little version of it. And I also, because of how long it took me to edit and how tedious it was, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I had that song I chose for it playing and now it's stuck in my head. I don't know if I was saving any of those stacked eggs for anything, but if I was, then it's too late. Granny has just reminded you- wait, what? What about Granny? <laughs> oh wait, do you mean that Granny game that was like a scary game that you could- I think it was only a mobile game, now that I think about it. I'm probably not even thinking of the right thing. Welcome in. Okay, pausing the game really quickly. I'm gonna type a poll really quickly and I'm going to deliberately leave it up for a while because I wanna get a good amount of people's opinions on it. So if you see it there for a long time, it's on purpose. But please answer this poll honestly when it goes up. should pop up in just a second okay so if i ever streamed undertale again would you watch please vote honestly you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you say no i just would rather you be honest and i'm good Sid. i thank you for asking how are you i think shiver here actually may be the only person that's been around long enough to have seen my really really old undertale streams like those streams are practically ancient at this point. I only did a couple of them and then I stopped because at the time I felt like nobody liked them. But I've been the past couple of weeks really wanting to play Undertale. It just reminded me, did you know Discord added a poll feature to some servers? I feel like I saw that. But you know the way that I always do polls in the server how I'm like, react to vote with like this emoji means this and this one means that and so on. I still really like doing polls that way because I'm just so used to it. Grandpa Shiver? No, literally, you've been around I think since like right before I hit 500 subscribers. I couldn't tell you the exact number because it's been way too long, but somewhere around there. I think I'll practice fishing a little bit. I don't have a whole lot of pocket space yet, so I will just hold as many fish as I can. I don't know. It depends on if the timing fits with my day. Fair enough. Do you and I have a large time zone gap? Don't feel like you have to answer if you're not comfortable. For reference, I'm in central time zone. And right now, it's 526 for me. And the anniversary I met Lexi is coming up April 14th. We've basically known each other for almost the entirety of my channel. Not all of it, but like a massive chunk of it, which is crazy to me.
And another thing, I was 18 when I started posting videos on this channel, and now I'm about to be 23 next month, which freaks me out. Because, <laughs> like, I don't feel old, to clarify. It's just a matter of, like, where did all the time go? Like, one of those moments where you're like, oh my gosh, it's been that many years? Like, excuse me? Are you sure? <laughs> you know? Welcome to the stream. No, I am not a surgeon. So for very quick context for what, um, I think it's, I don't know if it's Ido or Edot in the chat. Um, but for context, if you don't know what that person is asking about, long story short, a friend of mine, Fairy Queens, posts like very silly, out of context shorts. And to go along with the joke, I was like, oh, I'm a surgeon. And yes, I've done surgeries on conjoined twins or whatever it was that I said. And, <laughs> um, a lot of people have been asking if I'm actually a surgeon. No, I'm not. Um, but we pretend that I am. <laughs> Just pretend. I'm good. I live on Monday for a four-day trip with my brother and sister to Mexico. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, you leave Monday. We'll be safe. I hope you have fun. I'm an Eastern at 626 here. I'm also an EST. So then you're, you and Megs are both an hour ahead of me. So if I catch a herring or a sardine, I'll be able to have the fish stack. But if I don't, then I'll probably just have to leave. I'm heading to Sweden in the summer. That sounds like so much fun. I've literally never been out of the country before, unless you count going to the Bahamas. Um, then I guess technically I have, but like I really feel like I haven't. That sounds really fun, though. I don't know when you leave, that's your personal business, but I hope that you have fun. Please be safe. And also remind me about that whenever you get, I mean, remember it gets close to time to leave, just so that way I remember. Because we all know that my memory can be very, very terrible. <laughs> so please remind me whenever it gets closer. I'm going to Seattle in three weeks. There is so much traveling going on in the community, but for all of you that are traveling, whether it's soon, tomorrow, in a couple of days, next week, whenever it is, please be safe and safe and safe, and I hope you have fun. I can't speak, apparently. Wait, hold on. Let me do the little trick right here with this. Okay, that still needs to be donated. These two, however, can be sold, and then that I can go get cracked open. Hopefully I can get there fast enough because it's so annoying how Gunther closes at four because I feel like I never have enough time to get over there sometimes. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. Thank you so much. And hello, Allie. Welcome in. On a completely different note, what is everybody's craving of the day? I don't know what my problem is, but for the past like several days, I've been craving pancakes hardcore. Like I would love some buttermilk pancakes with turkey bacon, not pig bacon, but I would prefer turkey bacon. To me, it just tastes better and it has less fat on it. And the reason that's just so important to me is because if you don't know me, I do have a sensory issues related to food and certain textures in foods. And one of them is fat and meat. And pig bacon just has too much of it. It grosses me out. That's why I like the turkey bacon. There's practically none on there. At least most of the time. Mini eggs chocolate. Oh, like those Cadbury eggs or just like straight chocolate? And while we're talking about food and like possibly like sugary stuff, because you brought up chocolate, for a really long time, I always said my favorite cupcake and cake flavor was strawberry cake with cream cheese frosting. And that's still one of my top favorites. But lately I've had a new one that has overtaken that, has taken the crown for my favorite uh, cupcake and cake flavor, which is lemon cupcakes with lemon frosting. Specifically, the way that I made it whenever I made cupcakes for my mother-in-law, it was her birthday a while back, and we had made her some cupcakes. Basically, we baked the lemon cupcakes, right? They were super airy and fluffy and delicious. 
And then I actually at the time, this was unintentional, but I didn't have enough time to let the cupcakes cool off to frost them. So I had to do it while they were still fairly warm. And as a result, the frosting had like melted, but then it like re-hardened whenever it dried. And I'm not gonna lie, that texture of the frosting was so much better than the way normal frosting is had the cupcakes cooled in time. So lemon cupcakes made specifically like that are my new favorite dessert. They are scrumdiddlyumptious. I'm craving the mozzarella sticks from Red Robin. I haven't tried theirs, but mozzarella sticks in general are also scrumdiddlyumptious. <laughs> Cadbury mini eggs. I haven't had Cadbury eggs in a really long time. The thing, I'm trying to gain weight again. I'm tired of eating food at all. Would have been like, you can't speak. Let me just retry that. <laughs> What have been like your favorite things to eat lately? Not necessarily like a craving, but like what have been like your favorite things? I did already sell some of the salmon berries, so I need the money. However, I'm gonna see if I can find any more and set those aside for tomorrow. So I think I wanna go back to the mine tomorrow. And then since apparently the book stand, it's apparently random, so I'll could probably check that out too. Whether that's on the way there, on the way back, I'm not really sure, but I should check it out. Where are all the bushes on this farm? Hello? Are there just no bushes? You know what, it's gonna take me too long to walk up there because I still have a bunch of debris to clear. Let's go down here instead and just hope that I find some. Plums. I haven't had a plum in a really long time either. That makes it sound like I don't eat fruit. I promise I eat fruit. <laughs> um, but plums, I haven't had in a while. Sounds kind of good. I had McDonald's today and my daughter snatched a french fry out of my hands. There is just something about the grip a baby has that's like, has the strength of no other. Like, Whenever I've been around a baby, if they like wrap my finger or my hair, their strength is unmatched and I don't understand. I know up to a certain age, whenever they're really, really little, it's because they're still learning to use their muscles and they haven't really learned how to grasp and ungrasp it, grasp it. Something about that process and how it clicks in their brains that they don't understand yet. So like if they grab onto something really tightly, they can't let go unless you uncurl their fingers, but still. How are babies strong? I don't understand. <laughs> I feel like these hats low-key look the exact same. really really quickly i want to go ahead and do some of the free gifted memberships because i haven't done that this month i don't think there we go Oops. No, i did not mean to launch the fishing rod congratulations to everyone that got one I have another five that I can give away, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that this stream or if I'm gonna wait or anything. But I definitely wanted to do at least like a handful of them now. Thanks, Lexi, of course you're welcome. Welcome. Sorry to get back on the subject about food, but I have a question. Has anybody here tried the pretzel pizza from Little Caesars? I don't know if they still serve it. They, for a while, would like put it on the menu, take it off, put it back on the menu, take it off. And then for a long time, they had like brought it back and they actually kept it on there for once. So sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But have you tried it and do you like it? I like it, however, I prefer it with just the marinara sauce instead of the cheese sauce. If you don't know what I'm talking about, whenever you order it, you can either have marinara sauce or cheese sauce in place of the marinara. 
I prefer the marinara because I feel like with the cheese sauce, it's like too much cheese and then it just feels like I'm eating, like I'm taking bites of just like cheese, you know? Oh no, Libra wasn't here. Um, it's supposed to only give to memberships to people that are here, but sometimes it likes to give them away to people that aren't here. So I don't think Libra is here. Or maybe he is. Maybe he's just lurking. I do that a lot. Like, I feel like almost more than half the time, I'm very, very lurky in a lot of people's streams. I would normally sell a lot of this. I'm going to sell, actually, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell the dandelions, but everything else I'm going to keep as boosters for the mines. I said I was going to get dinner, but I haven't gotten up yet. You're good. What are you having for dinner, though? I don't know what I'm having, but bringing up the pretzel pizza makes me want it. <laughs> your neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled into your new home. I'm ready to let you know that Pierre's store is now set. Okay, it's just the message about the fertilizers. Okay. Let me just water these and take care of the animals, and then I'll just go ahead and go to the mine. Wait, do I not have that thing turned on? I need to turn on the hit tool location. There. It low-key looks kind of ugly sometimes having that on, but it helps to avoid accidentally using your tool whenever you don't need to or using it on the wrong area. Need it, I'm gonna put some of the other tools away just because if I don't need it, I'm not gonna leave that in my pockets. And I'll be sure to rearrange them before I leave so that way they're in like a proper order. chickens are named Portobello and Porcini. Oh, I didn't realize I could get up here. Okay, I guess I just had to break that stuff. I thought it was one of those things where it looks like you can get up there, but you can't, which is actually pretty frequent of an occurrence in Stardew Valley. laid back about this farm do you guys think that i what tool do you think i should upgrade first i want to upgrade one at some point but i don't know what i want to upgrade i gotta go by have fun thanks for popping in i appreciate you and of course i'm not going to pass up on the opportunity to get extra salmon berries and then whatever i don't end up using while I'm mining, I'll probably just end up selling for the extra money. make it to level 10. That's going to be the goal for right now. And then if I get farther than that, great. If I don't, it's fine. That's the thing about mines is that usually, at least with the way Stardew has it set up, is it won't save the last level that you went on unless the number either ends in a, like in a five or a zero. Like it counts it by fives. I don't know if I explained that well enough, but hopefully you know what I meant. Probably be trying to get some of the copper as well. 
either your pickaxe or your watering can. I'm pretty bad about remembering to upgrade my tools regardless whether it's a stream, a video, or if I'm just casually playing in my own downtime. I'm really, really terrible about it, but I feel like pickaxe, yeah, pickaxe or watering can would probably be best. here and eat a little snacky snack real quick because I need more health and energy. Have you ever watched the show Glee? I'm watching it. Oh, you're re-watching it. I've actually never seen it before. I know what it is. I've heard of it plenty of times, but I've never seen it. I'm just, I mean, I watch new stuff sometimes, but I'm the kind of person who's very guilty of just re-watching stuff all the time. Like I re-watch the same stuff usually. I get a new sword. I really do not like this beginner sword. It does barely anything, it feels like. Like, imagine if you had to use this really crusty, dusty, rusty sword in the volcano mine on Ginger Island. Like, you would not survive. Unless you just had the most perfect skill set in the world, then maybe. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't. to get a better angle really quick. This slime feels invincible. Like, why hasn't it died yet? Okay, there we go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize that one was another creature. I let my guard down too soon. Ew. Look at pooped crab legs on me. Oh great, there's more of them! Y'all are just coming out of the woodworks, aren't you? I refuse to go in the school caverns unless I have mods. Valid. Boys getting on that waitlist for the testosterone? Congratulations! And welcome in, Horror Fresh Ghosts! Could we get some hype and chat for Horror Fresh Ghosts, please? Here, I will type some too while I'm not currently being rapidly attacked in the game. <laughs> but welcome in, I'm happy for you. A reminder that if you saw the screen, it briefly freeze. It just does that sometimes whenever I click back and forth with Stardew. I don't know why, but it does. Oh, my pockets are full, that's what it is. I don't remember if I've gotten one of those or not, so because the quartz actually... I'll, I'll get rid of the sap. Um, I threw that away. <laughs> Why did it respawn? That's great, amazing. They're pretty easy to find. You mean the earth crystals, or am I getting confused and thinking of the wrong thing? I know the ladder's right there and I see it, so I'm just gonna avoid the slimes and try to get fair copper if there is any more left, that is. questions in a short period of time, then I'm like, wait, which question are y'all answering? I am very guilty of that. Ooh, okay. Well, let me check and see which footwear I have right now. Okay, I don't actually have any, so I will take that. The... I'll get rid of that. And it 
gives me plus one defense and plus one immunity, which is better than nothing. Oh, and this was level 10. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them. Mummies and Skull Cavern are the worst. No, literally, aren't they the ones that respawn? Like, you'll kill them and they'll, like, be laying in a pile of, like, the rags that they're wrapped in. And then they reawaken a little bit later. Like, forget that. A little unfair that they get to respawn. Where is the salmon? Oh, I already picked it up. I thought that it disappeared behind the bush. I was like, wait, where'd it go? Because I wanted to pick it up. But I just didn't see that it had already been picked up. So each character in this game has their own designated schedules. They always do very specific things and go specific places on every day of the week. And whenever Demetrius stands there like that, it, like if I'm just walking past and not looking at him and I'm just looking at my character, like for example, if I'm just walking past him like this and I'm looking at my character, again, not him, it always looks like he's standing there to go pee. Cause like, boys stand to pee. And it always looks like that to me. And I'm like, ew, why are you doing that outside? Don't be nasty. <laughs> the other monsters are gone once you kill them. And you know what other monster in the game that I don't like? You know those like, I don't even know what they are, but they look like massive green flies. Like they start out with these little worms and then they become big green flies. And they make me very, very angry. The moment you need to use a, oh, you need to use a bomb to finish them off. I didn't know that actually. Thank you for letting me know and welcome in, C-Rose. It does, you. I know. I'm sorry if that was like low-key gross to y'all, but I swear that's what I always feel like I'm seeing him do every time I walk past. I'm certain I've already added a lot of new content with the 1.6 update, but you know what other fruit I feel like would be cool to see in the game is kiwis. I don't know if she's gonna be there or not, but I wanna check in with Robin and see what else I need for the silo. I still don't really remember. I think I have the money now, but I don't know how much of the materials that I need off the top of my head. What fruit? Kiwis. Ooh, down there, there's salmon berries. I'm gonna have to go get those at some point. I guess she just wasn't even home. She's not gonna go to work. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to wait. I have kiwis in game, but I think it's a mod. It probably is. I don't think they were ever actually implemented into the game. I will definitely go back to talk to her tomorrow. While it's still not so late that I'm gonna pass out, I'm gonna go get those salmon berries I was talking about and sell them. Because why not? It's basically free money every time there's a season where there's a bunch of fruit spawning on the bushes. pop my neck this way but I can't I can only push it so far I'm not in pain right now don't worry but like whenever I do try to crack my neck because I feel like I need to it like won't do it and it's not one of the most frustrating feelings you can tell some of your joints need a really good pop and then you'll feel better or to like release pressure or something but then it just like will not pop no matter what you do
Wait, what's happening? Is this the fairy? It's a fairy! Okay, I think that it means it's gonna make my crops grow like faster or something, or maybe it'll make it really large. I don't know. I don't remember which one of them is. I know it's one of the two. Well, that's exciting. Thank you, little fairy. I think the odds of that even happening in the game are like very slim to none. Like they are so tiny. So it's interesting that I had that happen that early. For me, I don't like Ginger Island. By the time I get there, it's 12. Then I make it to level five and I have to go back home. So it takes me multiple in-game days to finally finish it. Yeah, I, I would have to agree. I love Ginger Island so, so very much. However, um, I feel like the time is like almost faster there, like all the time. I love Ginger Island though, just the time part is a little frustrating sometimes. I know I could have chosen one of the newer cats, but I just like to choose the gray one because she looks like my kitty Luna. I love Ginger Island. Sometimes whenever I try to type Ginger Island on my phone, it always thinks I'm trying to type an F instead of a G. So it corrects to Finger Island, and I just... I don't really like that imagery because just it makes me think that there's this big island somewhere with a bunch of fingers just everywhere. Like it makes me think of the thumb people from Spy Kids. Oh, I made a big patch of them. Be basically ready. I think these ones are ready. These ones are not, but still, that was nice of them. Thank you, cute little fairy. And then I think the other thing aside from the silo that I know I wanted that I was talking about was the well. Just because I do have a body of water right here, but it's annoying walking all the way over here. And like nine times out of 10 on a starter farm, I don't usually get it because it's typically unnecessary, but I find it necessary now. I don't know, if you guys play Stardew, do you choose or do you not choose to get the well built? I thought I already had I'm spacing on what it's called, but you know the little wooden containers that you can put fruits and veggies into and you can make it like some jam or it'll like pickle the vegetable, right? I thought that I had that built, but I guess I don't. Do I have the recipe? No, I do not. Okay. Well, I want some of them to be turned into that, so I'm going to set aside a couple of these to use for whenever I have that built. Here. I set aside half of them. to like the live stream if you have not already. Liking the stream is completely free and it's a very easy way to support me. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all being here. Yeah, and I do need to go talk to Robin. I don't remember if I fed the chickens today or not, but I'm sure they're fine. realized it was 12 a.m. in the game and I was just having fun. That's always the worst whenever you get so into it and you look up and it's like two seconds away from you passing out and you just, you just know that you're doomed at that point. I'm gonna reapply this really quick. terribly expensive to get the silo built. I really don't remember. 100 gold, that's fine. Five copper bars, 10 clay, 10, 100 stone. That part seems pretty simple. The copper bars is gonna be kind of annoying. And then for the well, I could easily do the well now. I just don't have my stone with me. So honestly, I'm just gonna do that and get it out of the way because it's pretty simple. The silo isn't complex either necessarily. It just like requires more. I'm 
much do I have? Okay, cool. I have enough. I don't have any copper bars currently, but I do have a good amount of copper ore stocked up, so I'm not concerned about that. But do I have the furnace built? I do not, but it shouldn't be too hard to make. I just noticed that he said I need 25 copper ore just to make the furnace alone. I feel like I might be pushing it and getting pretty close to running out of copper ore whenever I make all the bars. But you know what? You do what you gotta do. I always forget about the ratio of coal and copper. I don't remember if it's uh, five copper, one coal, or five coal, one copper. I just, I get it mixed up a lot. I'm gonna build it right here, but the tree is technically in the way. I feel like I should have chopped that down first. That's annoying. And I can't put it up here either? Wow, the game's being a hater, isn't it? <laughs> if I put it here, it's gonna block the entryway that I can walk over here to get back there. I mean, maybe if I were to chop this tree down, I'd still be able to go behind it, but maybe I just didn't do that. You know what, actually? I know I just came all the way over here, but there's a lot of plants in the way of my favorite spots to possibly put it. So I'm literally gonna go all the way back just to chop those trees down and then go back to Robin again. Oh, I didn't see your message. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in Planty Gamer. Hello and welcome in Vivian. Welcome Pokemon Go Charizard. Welcome Amber. Welcome in friends and thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. How was your stream and did you have fun? What did you do? Let me know. Um, if one of the mods could please get a link for Pokemon Go Charizard, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. Well, welcome in raiders. Stop giving me recipes. I already know. Isn't that so irritating? It really is, truly. I'm not afraid. Oh, well, either way, welcome in. We also need a link for Plancy. There's two links that need to be grabbed. I'm sorry. I'm also <laughs> very guilty of forgetting to make commands, so hee <laughs> hee. This is like, I'll tell myself that I'm gonna do it and everything during my stream, and then I immediately forget as soon as I'm not live anymore, and I promise I'm not like that intentionally. I, I'm really not. I love you guys and I appreciate you. I'm just really bad at remembering things. Thank you, I appreciate y'all. Remember from the Shrek cult when we played Roblox Doors? I was Fiona. I do remember you, welcome. That was a very cursed portion of the stream, but in a fun way. We saw we were playing Mario Party Superstars, it was fun. Mario Party is truly iconic and honestly, a lot of people are gonna heavily disagree with me on this, so maybe this is a hot take, but in my personal opinion, I think that Mario Party is more fun than Mario Kart. I said it. They, I, I said it. It's okay if you disagree, and it's okay if you think I have a very hot take here, but that's what I think, personally. Like, if for some reason I can only play one and not the other for the rest of my life, I would probably choose Mario Party. Pokemon Go Charizard's Link. Thank you for hitting with the link, Shiver. I really do appreciate you. I think Megs is out eating dinner right now. Um, so thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, I think the main area I wanted to put it was here. I would love for it to be by the house. I'm honestly just gonna chop a few more trees nearby so I have other options in case I change my mind. Just because I don't have to come back here again just to chop down trees. Oh, and by the way, Raiders, if you cannot say, I totally understand. Thank you so much for popping in, though. I appreciate your support so, so very much. Oh, and another thing, if you are here, whether you're chatting or lurking, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give your opinion on the poll that I have up at the moment. I'm just trying to get various opinions from viewers. I just and it's also, it's okay to say no if your vote is no, that is okay. I would rather you be honest. Um, but if you don't mind, I would appreciate the vote. I feel like I've chopped down enough of them though, because I wanted to get very like close by to the house. 
Fairy Lightning update. I can't stop playing. I love it. This is only day two for me technically, but it's because this farm in particular is meant just for my live streams and I don't have a set schedule for streams currently due to my personal life being very unpredictable. Um, this is only the second time I've been able to stream it, but I really like it and I really want it to be on Switch. I want to have a stream file and then a personal file. would love for the middle square on here to go over that little patch of dirt, but it's not going to work out. I do too. I want to bed game this so badly. I have my TV in my room. It's sitting up on the dresser directly in front of my bed. And because of the way it's like decently close to an outlet, if I want to, I can connect my switch to the TV and play Stardew Valley like that. And like, think about it, like imagine laying there all cozied up with some snacks under the blankets and just playing Stardew Valley on the TV. Like that would be the purest of vibes in my opinion. Windows security for the random alert that I did not ask for. Oh, that still has to be donated. Okay, I may as well just go over everything really quickly to see if I'm missing anything donation wise. I don't think I am though. I also don't remember how much of that wood has to be donated. And I also have to give that. Okay. I'm gonna put those away. Is there anything else I'm missing here? Okay. Now we can go. No, I love freshly grated cheese. Freshly grated cheese is delicious. I gotta go. I hope the rest of the stream goes well. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. So this was not for my server, but a different server that I'm part of. And I wanted to share the question of the day that they did because I'm curious for what you guys say. So when you go to the movies in person, whether you go all the time or you don't go that much, just regardless, whenever you go, what are your go-to snacks and drinks to get? Personally, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I tend to always get mine at like the dollar store or something just cause let's be real here. Their snacks and their drinks are way too expensive. I don't know what bundles these go to. Their snacks and drinks are so crazy expensive. I don't like the buttered popcorn there because the amount of butter makes me want to vomit. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's gross, but it's true. I don't like it though, it grosses me out. So what I do like to get though is a Dr. Pepper. If I'm getting a drink, maybe a water if I just haven't had enough water that day. Um, and then for snacks, I usually get some sort of hot chip or like a cheap container of cookies. I think I need the bundle for the bulletin board to pop up to donate the stone and the wood. At least I think that's what that's for. I just love cheese in general. A soda and popcorn or soft pretzel bites with cheese if they have it and the cookie dough bites. Oh, speaking of that, and speaking of the topic of snacks with movies, I believe that, I don't know if it's like full on discontinued, but they stopped serving it at movie theaters. Do you guys remember those teeny tiny little freezers that were sold during the concessions, or not during, but near the concessions? And little freezers were strictly for those Dibs ice cream bites. Those were my favorite when I was a kid. And I was so angry whenever they stopped selling them. It was just enough sugar that I felt like I could really enjoy it without it being like overwhelmingly sweet. Right? The dips ice cream bites were so good. I'm still so mad that they stopped making them. They're not making them again, stop selling them. I, I don't know if they're full on discontinued. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the quartz because I've already donated it. These will go back in storage and then that I'm saving for a future mayonnaise machine. Wait, 
I check on my chickens today? Oops. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm sorry if you're starving. <laughs> I'm a great chicken owner. I want to Google it. Let me know if they're discontinued or not, because I don't know if they are. I just feel like I haven't seen them in a long time. And you know what else? I, I know this 100%, no doubt in my mind, is discontinued. This is very specific. But there was this gum that I believe was from the 90s, given I was not born in the 90s, but like the gum was around long enough when I was a kid. And it was by Hubba Bubba, and it was like this tin container. It was called Ouch Bubble Gum. And basically, there were a couple different fruity flavored gum pieces. And whenever you took a piece out before you unwrapped it, the wrapping made it look like a cute little colorful band aid. I loved those. And I was furious when they stopped selling them. It was my favorite gum. Rip, I broke again. I just got a deluxe barn so we don't have to feed them. Wait. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. I thought for a, that you, for a second you meant that you said that you um, had broken a tool, but you meant that you were broken them because you spent the money on the farm upgrade, or the barn. I can't speak, but you know what? You know what I meant, and that's what counts. Thank you for the free 500 gold. Love that. My small just for joking about your grandpa's little cottage when we first met. It's a really nice little house. I love how the animals in this game never die off, so if you forget to give them water, it doesn't do anything. Not wait until that well is built. Alexia, how are you? Hello, we're getting to welcome in. I'm good, how are you? Ice cream might still exist, you can get them at convenience stores. Okay. Well, I'm glad they're still a thing, but no, why did they take them away from the movie theater? On a different note, I have a different question for you guys now. So, still on the topic of movie theaters, if you could pick three fast food restaurants to be in the theaters, like kind of like how when you go into the food court at the mall, there's like miniaturized versions of various fast food places and restaurants. If you could pick three fast food places to be set up like that at the movie theater, which three would you pick? I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Hang on. I'm gonna go around and just have a chill day and talk to everyone. I'm um, year three, fall seven on my MacBook because I can only get to play the update. Once I can play on my Switch, I will be unstoppable. Me too, honestly. Also, sorry to stop at a very weird time. I really have to pee. I'll be fast though. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. There we go, I couldn't even find my own mic for a second. I'll be back. McDonald's and Auntie Anne's. Or is it, do you mean Auntie Anne's or is that a different thing? You could be thinking of a whole different thing than I am. I think for 
me though, y'all know me, I love Wingstop, so I would have to say Wingstop as some of it. So Wingstop, and I'm also gonna say Sonic, because I technically do have food there. They've got a very wide variety of drink options, so I'm gonna say Wingstop, Sonic, and then, I guess McDonald's, because I feel like, I know their food quality isn't necessarily the greatest, but like, I feel like it's some of the cheapest. So I would say that just for the sake of the affordability. I forgot about Wingstop because I don't have one around here. I forget about that and it makes me sad whenever you mention it because I wish you could have some. I mean, I guess technically you can, but there's no point in driving that far or pays it, paying, paying ridiculous fees to have it delivered all the way to your house if it's not even near you. Like that would just be too expensive, especially if you use DoorDash because DoorDash fees are insane. What would you have for the last meal? Like last meal in prison? I know on death row you're allowed to have one last meal of whatever it is that you choose, but I don't think that's what you're talking about, so please clarify for me if you don't mind. How much is this? You know what, I'm gonna get that now because I would love the extra space. I know I said I was saving the money to get the silo and I still am. But that's gonna help so much now. I don't know why, but for a long time when I first started playing Stardew Valley, I always thought that you had to be like at a certain level to be able to plant these. No, they're just expensive. I would love to have a little orchard where I have like a couple of each of these. One, two, three, five, six. Six options. Well, maybe at some point whenever I have enough gold for it, I could just have a big orchard. Well, your last meal, not the last meal. <laughs> you don't have to be in prison to the last meal you'll eat. There's a YouTube show called Mythical Last Meal and it has famous guests and makes their wishes for a last meal. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes more sense. I was gonna say, wait, honk. <laughs> Cause I just really thought that you meant the, like, the death row thing. Um, but I would say a six piece boneless wing combo from Wingstop with a Coca-Cola. And then for the fries, I would choose lemon pepper seasoning, a lot of it, a side of ranch. And then for the wings themselves, I would choose mango habanero. I forgot, I think the reason I left this hat off in the first place was because I was trying to get the trash hat. I want to have the trash hat. I can only open the trash can now that nobody sees me open. And plus, even then, even if you do it a lot, the chances of getting it still are like very, very low, I think. I think there's one in the next day over, which is like 20 minutes away. But I feel like stuff that's that far away makes the fees insane for delivery. The dehydrator is a great addition to the product sell for a lot. What items would be the best to put into the dehydrator? Speaking of dehydrated, let me see. I know it's not always 
most interesting thing, but for the next couple of in-game days, I would really like to work on just clearing more of the debris off of my farm. Not all of it, just because that's, I don't want it to be completely barren, but I want to get rid of a good amount of it. I think I'm going to start in this general area and work my way down. fruits and mushrooms. It takes five fruits to make one dried fruit jar. That's a little bit annoying, but if you choose the fruit bat option whenever you get the cave, and I guess technically it would work with the mushrooms too if you choose the mushroom option. I personally just prefer the fruit bats. I think that would make it decently simple. There's never a bunch of fruit spawns in there. It's literally just a bunch of free fruit. It's great. But actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever tried the mushroom option for that cave. some trees there but I just I need to be able to walk around and I am at a breaking point of being stuck behind various trees and rocks I mean I did just use up a lot of my energy but it's okay I've still got stuff that I can eat it's all good Like, that in real life would 100% give you salmonella. Oh, it's just the fruit cave. I don't want to give spoilers if you don't want them. But the update has a new way of giving mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, de definitely please don't give it to me. Or not give it to me. But please don't tell me the spoiler. I appreciate you avoiding that. Yeah, I don't know what it is about it. I just, like, habitually always choose the fruit bats. And at some point, I feel like I should try the mushroom cave at least once. Maybe whenever the update comes out on Switch and I make a personal file there, maybe I could choose the mushroom one there to see it for myself. But good to know, thanks for telling me. the sound of just hitting the trees repeatedly you could probably make a beat out of that and make like a stardew valley farming rap song or something oh i don't know how well y'all can see that but if you saw the little mark on my arm that's a scar that i got recently and um, my mother-in-law's cat scratched up my arm pretty bad and then it left a scar so that's what that is if you've seen that and you were concerned technically not even married yet we're engaged i just call her my mother-in-law so it's easier than repetitively saying my fiance's name and then referring to his mom like it just it makes it easier I also 
need to get some extra clay because I'm going to need that for the silo. What do we think is the best way for me to get some extra clay? earn a whole lot today but it's okay and I feel like the strawberries should be spawning again soon I'm so glad that those regrow because could you imagine with how expensive they are if you had to repetitively buy new seeds every single time I feel like at that point I wouldn't even buy them get away from my crops you're so rude fresh cauliflower why does she always send me that when I've already sold my cauliflower? Do I have any more? I really hope I do. I don't. Okay. Well, I want to try and do that quest for her, but I don't have cauliflower seeds with me. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I have some brown right here. Okay. I guess I have to wait until those are fully done. I just had one of those moments where I have like a random flashback in my head to like a random old memory. Does anybody here remember the old stream that I did? I was playing Animal Crossing that day and I was having a fully fledged conversation with the chat. However, for some reason, YouTube and Streamlabs were both really badly glitched that day and it wouldn't show me the fact that people were sending messages. So I'm sitting here talking to myself because the messages weren't showing up even though everybody in chat was speaking to me. So I was so horrified that day because for like, I think 15 or 20 straight minutes, it looked like I was ignoring my chat. And I felt so bad afterwards because even when I miss messages, I always make a really strong effort to try and interact with everyone as much as I can. Like I was so sad. Like I did not mean to make it look like I did that. I was really upset that day. Thankfully though, everybody understood and nobody was mad at me. I don't need to plant the cauliflowers anymore. I'm not gonna go buy seeds. Actually, I'm gonna go and see if the book sand is there because I know I need to be remembering to do that and then I'll come back and work on my farm again. And actually, I wanna see, how's the poll doing? Okay, so a good amount of you have voted for yes. I know I've left that up there for a long time already, but I'm gonna leave that up there for a little bit longer before I take it down. Which, by the way, if you have not voted on the poll, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give your input, please and thank you. Check the calendar, okay. Wait, <laughs> this is not the calendar. why I thought that was the calendar, but I'm already over here, so I may as well just go look. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's the thought that counts. I'm gonna check the trash cans while I'm here. I hope Shane doesn't see me do this. I have to be fast. saw me dig through the trash. Anyways, back to what I was doing. I'm gonna go back to the farm and work on it a little bit. If there's a hot air balloon on that day, that means that the bookseller will be in town. Well, good to know. Thank you so much. What's everyone's favorite season in Stardew Valley? Personally, I don't know if this is gonna be an unpopular one or not, but I feel like winter is beautiful in Stardew Valley. However, it's not my favorite for streams because winter, obviously, you know, it's got a lot of snow and therefore a lot of white and like light colored tones. And it casts like this white lighting on my face whenever I stream and it makes me look like Jeff the Killer sometimes. It's like, it'll make me look even paler than I already am. And I don't like that. and 
Fall is a close second. Fall is gorgeous. Fall is absolutely beautiful. And again, I just think winter is super pretty in Stardew, but I, I can't stand how it makes me look extra pale when I stream it. I thought those were two little logs, that's why I hit that. In fact, I'm gonna go around this area and try to find a bunch of the tiny logs so I can hit them and break them. Because the small stuff like that being all over the ground is what really just irks me, because I feel like it makes it really, really hard to move sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat the eggs that I grabbed earlier. Yummy salmonella. Have y'all ever actually gotten sick with salmonella? Because I have, and it is not a fun time at all. And it wasn't even from eggs either, actually. I was in elementary school and I was, depending on the day, sometimes I had school lunch, sometimes I brought my own lunch, just depended. Um, but that day I was getting school lunch and I had like a little uncrustable and then I learned later that day that those Uncrustables were under a massive recall due to salmonella contamination and mine was contaminated. I didn't know. It was already too late at that point and I had consumed it and then I got really bad stomach problems for a little while. So that was fun. <laughs> haven't and I would not like to. Yeah, definitely would not recommend. It was not a fun experience whatsoever. That's why I've stopped eating the brownie batter when making brownies. And you know what? Me too. As tempting as it is, because like we all know it tastes delicious, it's just not worth it. It's really not. Especially because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like lately everything is having more recalls than it used to like ever. I remember being younger, even just by younger being a teenager, even then I feel like recalls weren't happening as often and now I feel like they're happening all the time. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We are making progress. I feel like over here the trees are a bit more spread out. It's honestly just all of this excessive grass and the little stuff on the ground that's in the way now, at least for this side of the farm. And some of that grass I definitely want to keep because I want to save that for whenever I have the silo. Whenever I get around just using the scythe to get rid of some of it, um, I'm going to get rid of a good portion. Not all of it. I like how cookie dough is safe to eat raw now from most brands. Another thing, for those of you that really like the taste of things like raw cookie dough batter, or like raw cake batter, raw brownie batter, whatever whatever it is that you like, I mean this particularly with dough, but there's certain brands you can buy deliberately now where you are just meant to add in whatever other ingredients that they ask of you, if any, and then you can just eat the dough when it's safe. Like they make eggless versions now, so if you just really are craving brownie batter and not even brownies, then you can safely eat it. 
I don't think there's a lot of them that do that right now, but it's, some of them do that. It's a thing. Now I want to get cookie dough tomorrow at Walmart. Have you ever, and this is very specific, but for those of you here that like brownies, especially if you like peanut butter chocolate flavors, like those together, hear me out. But there was this one time I made brownies and after like all the batter was poured into the container, before I put it in the oven, I melted down a little bit of peanut butter to where it was a lot more runny rather than being super thick and sticky. Melted it down so it was easier to spread. And then I drizzled the peanut butter on top of the brownie batter, then put it in the oven and it made chocolate and peanut butter marble brownies and it was so good so if you like peanut butter chocolate flavors you should try that i know we talked about food cravings earlier but i have a new craving that i just would like to share with everyone some jersey mics right now would be delicious they have really good sandwiches. I still really like Subway too, but I just have trust issues with them because they usually mess up my order and it makes me really mad. Jersey Mike's, however, has never messed up my order. I trust them a lot more than I trust Subway. Just like some cold cuts, a deli sandwich right now would be so good. <laughs> Whenever I set my Stanley Cup back down, how loud is it for you guys? Like, on my end, it sounds kind of loud, but I don't know how much the mic is actually picking it up. So I'm curious. Let me know, please. These are done, so I have to make sure that I give one to Robin before I sell it. I'll do that whenever I get back. It's fine. I'm sorry if that was gross, but I keep feeling like there's something stuck to my tooth. I want a milkshake. A milkshake would be good right now too, but only if I had french fries with it because I'm one of those people that likes to dip french fries in milkshake and there is nothing you can do to convince me that it's not delicious. But I, I just feel like it is. Like it's the perfect combo of sweet and salty. I got a cauliflower for you. Let me just put it under the door, because I will. but right now it is. I think I'm gonna make one later. I got chocolate milk from a local farm and some, it's gonna make it to a milkshake. What if you did that, but you like added in some strawberries or something and you made a chocolate strawberry milkshake? That would be good. I wonder what I'm doing. This is my attempt to get some extra flakes. I need it for the silo. So far I'm not getting any, but I got a little bit. Usually whenever I try to get clay, I just kind of do this in random places in the dirt and hope that some spawns. This made me realize though, couldn't I, because I'm able to till the soil here, couldn't I technically grow crops over here too? I 
stuff to talk to him just because he rarely leaves his room in the game and it's just hard to get a hold of him in general until you have at least two hearts with him. Logistically, if it lets you till the soil, it should let you plant something, right? I feel like it makes sense to me. Actually, while I'm here, let me just go ahead and see how much clay exactly I need for the silo, because I know I need it, I just don't know how much. I need 10 clay, that's not too, too bad. I think I already have some back on the farm, but I don't know how much. I love how I said I was gonna work on the farm again still, and I still want to, but I just used up a bunch of my energy over here, so oopsies. I'll come back to finish the rest later. So I need four more pieces of clay. I feel like we could find some, don't you think? And I'm sure I've already donated a horseradish, so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat them all. Watch me for some reason having not donated it yet. I bring that up because usually the spring foraging bundle is the very first thing I complete in Stardew Valley. I'm gonna be pretty shocked if it turns out that I haven't donated it yet and I just like ate all of mine. On Switch, I turned the quarry into a place for preserved jars and kegs. I'm pronouncing that right, aren't I? I hope so. I'm gonna cover it back up, but I'm doing this right now, again, in an attempt to get the last four pieces of clay that I need. Or actually, I guess I could technically leave this on... Actually, not... I don't know what word to use, but I could technically leave it and just plant something here. Like, maybe get a bunch of, like, a cheap crop and put it there. No, why not? unknowingly oh no I cracked it already okay I was like wait I thought that for some reason I didn't crack it open for me so we can add dehydrators to that area. That would be a good idea too. I doubt the mic is picking it up, but just in case you guys hear, if you just heard like very subtle screaming in the background, that would be my neighbor's children. They're playing outside. So if you heard screaming, everyone is fine. They're just playing. Machine. I see. I do. Okay, so I only need 
one copper bar, 15 stone, 15 wood, and one earth crystal. I already have literally everything except for the copper bar. What do I need for the furnace? I could probably craft that now. Never mind, I can grab the coal and not the stone. Hold on, again. <laughs> That makes me so mad. I want to put the furnace up there. I have to put it inside or something. Well, that's annoying. I wanted to put it outside. Once I have at least one copper bar, I should be able to make the mayonnaise machine. I haven't even been checking the TV. I need to be better about that. Birds are happy today? I'm so glad. I thought that was a carrot for some reason. It was just a maple seed. Speaking of that, do I have the tapper recipe? No, I don't. But I want to use it eventually. And then what's this? A cookout kit? 15 wood, 10 fiber, and 3 coal. I know that's technically been there the whole time, but because it's kind of like grayed out, because I don't have this stuff to craft it in my pockets, I just didn't even really notice it, to be honest. That is so cool. I'm going to have to use that at some point. Bluegrass is really cool, so I want to salvage as much of that as I can. But I'm going to go ahead and start on the process of clearing the green grass. But realistically, because it's so close together, I'm probably going to accidentally cut down some of the bluegrass, and I've already accepted that in my head. But I'm going to at least try not to cut it down. Please be sure to like the live stream if you have not already. Liking the stream is completely free and it's a very easy way to support me. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. miscellaneous areas to cut down the excess grass because I want there to be like patches here and there but I don't want it to be this like big blob of grass just all over the farm because that's just it makes it look dirty almost at least in my opinion like having it just covered in much of grass I don't like that okay I've left that pole up for quite a while I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down now Thank you so much for voting, though. If you did vote, I really do appreciate it. Um, so we'll have to see. I was mainly doing the poll first, just to see what you guys thought and see how you felt about it. I may also do the same poll in the Discord server, just because I know not everybody in the server is at the stream currently. Um, so I'll probably do it there, too. But it gave me some good insights. So thank you for voting. I appreciate it. I don't know, I've just been like weirdly in the mood lately to play Undertale. Oh, you know what would be cool? 
I wish we could build like mini fishing docks on the lakes on this farm. That would be cool. Okay, so this method makes it a lot easier to do what I want to do. Again, for like the millionth time, I'm cutting down a lot of grass, but not all of it. And if I walk through like I just did in random lines, it creates those patches much easier. So I just should just be doing that. But this little tree here is in the way. I have a question really, really quickly. Just for everybody in chat, regardless of if you are mod or whoever, like this is for everybody. Does anybody here watch the show called The Rookie or have you at least heard of it? I have been watching it on Hulu. Um, they're still putting out episodes on there for season six. I think filming has already been wrapped up for season six, but not all the episodes are on Hulu yet. So I've watched all the ones that are available and I know technically I can watch them live. I'm looking at the kind of person that will just wait until it's on a streaming service. I don't technically need to. I just habitually do that. But it's just such a good show. Such a good show. Okay, I need the wood stone and the earth crystal. I'm going to make that really quickly and put it in my house and then we'll save. I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. Megs, do you happen to have access to Hulu? Because I, I always forget which streaming services you have. I know. I feel like we talk about shows sometimes. Um, but if you ever get the chance to, you should watch it. It's one of those shows where it's like, and I feel like with most shows, honestly, you've got to watch at least a couple of episodes to really get a good feel for it before you give your opinion immediately. But I just feel like most of the time, the pilot episode is not the best episode. Oh, so the bookseller from town. Okay, cool. But most of the time, I just feel like the pile episode isn't the best and to be fair it's mainly there to give you ideas of all the characters and to give you like an idea of what the plot's gonna be about but it's really good without spoiling per se it's about a man who it, who's gone to like the middle-aged part of his life he is recently divorced and has a midlife crisis in the sense of he has a complete flip on what he wants to do with his life and what he wants to do with his career and tries becoming a cop. I'm not gonna tell you how or what else happens because I don't wanna do possible spoilers, but it's a really good show, really good. I recommend at least giving it a try to see if you like it. Oops. I need to get three more pieces of clay today and then I'll have enough for the silo. I have Hulu. You should watch it, it's on Hulu. It's up to you though, like don't feel like you have to just because I kept suggesting it, but I do really like it. It's one of those shows that I feel like I could just like leave it on running and like binge watch it. Oh, and another thing, because of how recent of a show it is, a lot of like, not like necessarily the first few seasons, but it's still a fairly recent show a lot of the more recent seasons have all kinds of random references to modern stuff and it's really nice like it's cool you watch the show ghosts i have not what platform is it on I'm just running around in a bunch of random places, desperately trying to get some clay. It's hilarious. We'll have to watch it then. 
By the way, if anybody's wondering um, why I haven't said not spam or anything, oh, got a chocolate cake. <laughs> um, it's because starter streams are very lurk friendly and sometimes there's not a whole lot of different people chatting at once, so it can be kind of hard to avoid spam. Um, that's the only reason why I haven't said anything. Just wanted to put that out there really quick. trash hat and I got excited but it gave me a field snack instead. Hear me out but I imagine if these field snack things were real I feel like it would taste like a cliff bar. And my parents accounts as well. I just feel like as long as whoever's account that you're using is okay with it like why not? Wait, oh yeah the bookseller is here today I need to go see them. I'm so glad that that sign is there because I genuinely had already forgotten. like any of these at the moment but it's okay so it's cool to see what they have party belly almanac mining monthly bait and bobber way of the wind part one a horse the book <laughs> old slitter legs and then the price catalog lovely collection you got there space right here. Let me just see if I can get some clay right now because I need one piece. Literally just one more. Okay, I need another patch of dirt to work with. I thought that was like an old, dirty lollipop coming out of the ground. I was like, ew. I don't want that, but thanks. <laughs> okay, I got the piece of clay. I'm immediately going back to the farm. I know I needed the 10 pieces of clay, and I think I also just needed stone. I think I needed wood. And I know I needed a copper bar, so I'm gonna have to make another one, but it's okay. I have enough coal and copper for that, so I'm not concerned. I'm gonna regret all the big patches that I make, so I'm gonna have to fix that at some point. And I don't wanna do that, because it's gonna take a while and it's gonna take up a lot of my energy. That, coal and copper. Where is my wood? Okay, there's wood. I don't remember if I fed my chickens today, so let me go take care of them. And if they give me any eggs, I could finally start making some mayonnaise, because I already made the mayonnaise machine. Oh, 
not me breaking my own gate. Hello. Have y'all ever done that? Don't lie. Where are my chickens? Oh. There they are. They were hiding from me. Playing a little game of hide and seek, I see. Actually, wait, was it one copper bar or five? I'll use the copper bars for something eventually, so just in case I need more, I'm gonna go ahead and start on one. I'm questioning myself now. Was it five copper bars or one? That's gonna really bother me. You know what? Why not? I'm just gonna go check really quick. I wasn't going to at first, but now I am. I wish there was a way I could check from my farm without having to come all the way over here. So it is five, okay. Well, I can still do that. It's okay, I can make five copper bars. I mean, annoying, but I can do it. <laughs> you guys know if anybody in the community happens to be streaming Stardew Valley tonight or is streaming it currently? I'm not ending yet, but I will be wrapping it up kind of soon, so I just was curious. sit in here and get warm and toasty while I wait for the copper bars. You don't see one on your end? It's okay. It is always a really huge plus whenever I raid somebody if they're playing the same game as me, but typically I do like to raid a lot of people that I know. Um, and I try to keep it to that most of the time just because I've had some pretty negative experiences raiding people that I don't know. I still do it occasionally, just not as much as I used to. People are just not always very nice. I'm not gonna name names just because that's very unnecessary of me, but it has happened before. Now, before I go to Robin to have her start on the silo, I need to see where I want to build it. I just feel like because the coop is over here, it just makes sense to put it on this side. Dang it. Okay, I thought I could break that one. Some of them they let you break and some of them they don't. Because of this though, I'm going to go ahead and cut down all of this wood over here and put the silo in the corner. be good if i get there and then she either isn't working anymore or walks away i'm gonna low-key be really frustrated but i spent so much time trying to get the extra clay sometimes the timing in stardew valley can be very annoying because of that reason especially with marnie because she's almost never there when you need her i got here right as she clocked out wow Okay, I see how it is, Robin. I see how it is. 
Oh, hi, Maru. Hey, Queen. He's so sweet. Do you guys pronounce it like Maru or Maru? I've heard some people say Maru, but I feel like I say Maru. progress today. <laughs> okay, so I am going to go ahead and find somebody to raid now. I've just muted Spotify, so if you don't hear the game anymore, that would be why. I call it Spotify, but technically it's just where the desktop audio goes through. Uh, please sit tight really quickly while I find somebody for us to raid. If you cannot stay for very long during their stream, that is totally fine. I completely understand. But if you could at least pop in and say hello, that would be wonderful. Let me see is streaming right now um not a ton of people it seems here let me try it this way if i can't find somebody then oh well but i do appreciate y'all waiting while i get a link or try to i appreciate that Um, there is nobody live currently, at least from what's popping up for me that I'm familiar with and due to said negative experiences, I guess I am just not going to raid this time. I'm so sorry. Uh, we can't always raid, unfortunately. I'm going to pop back into my own stream so I can see myself. Um, thank you for sticking around though anyways. So with all of this being said, thank you so much for coming to my live stream. Thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. And if you haven't already, you should. Both of those things are 100% free. Last thing before I go off, I do have a 30% off uh, site-wide sale on my merch site right now. If you'd like to check that out, use command shop to pull up the link. It is also just at lexonestar.com. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you next time for another live stream. Bye, everyone.